So how do we simplify? I'm just going to write here a square root of 30. So again, what we're doing here is a square root of 30, right? And again, what we can do is we can simply just take the factors like we said in my previous video, right? So again, I know 30 is my even number, is an even number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say that this will equal root two times whatever uh, 30 divided by, um, divided by uh, two is, which is root 15. So these two uh, radicals make up root 30, obviously. And now because it's an even number, I can't simplify this even more. So uh, what I could do is I could take, again, 3 as my factor, because 3 is also a factor of 15. So I could take this out, and I would get something like this. 15 divided by here is 5. And again, I can't take out more numbers here. So this here, I guess, if you really want to rewrite this, this would be root 2 times root 3 times root 5. Or you can say it's root 2, root 3, root 5. But in reality, we simply just use the root 30 as our solution here. We don't really care. We don't really, we only use basically one radical here and it doesn't, this doesn't really help us in terms of simplifying this radical. It actually makes it more complicated. So the answer here is just root 30, right? None of these, none of the factors here, root 30 is a perfect square. So in this case, you got the exact same thing, root two times root three times root five, which equals root 30 here. So this solution again is correct. Solution is correct. We cannot simplify. Uh, square root square root 30 30 to an integer multi with multiplied by us another an, a radical um, so therefore that solution solution is correct here this is the most simplified form here but this simplified form is actually more complex than just simply root 30 so we actually in reality